Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Few days back, I have created a commission of this Tolki invite in which you can see I have added many umbrellas. So I draw this umbrella on a separate canvas to add in this invite. Also, you can see I have added some cute dholkis over here. This dholki tutorial is also available on my channel and I will link down in the description below so you can check this video out and you can draw the same dholki if you want to add in your invitations. And this is the umbrella we are going to draw today. You can see here it has lot of different textures and that kind of effect. So without wasting our time, let's get started the tutorial. Well, I am already done with the sketch. It's pretty simple, just a basic design and um, draw it easily with the symmetry tool. Now I have turned the blend mode of the sketch layer to multiply and also lower the opacity. And brush I am using here is dry ink from inking section. So we will work with symmetry tools to so go to wrench icon toggle on drawing guide and select symmetry also you have to select drawing assist for each layer you want to draw with symmetry tool draw outlines first and then color fill manually to keep the texture effect take a new layer drag it below the pink layer also select drawing assist and the second shade you want to add in your second layer do the same process as we did for our first layer Now again take a new layer and drag it below the orange layer. Also select the third shade and if you are working in Procreate don't forget to select drawing assist for every layer you want to work with symmetry tool because here you can see it's just drawing on a single side because I have forget here to uh, select drawing assist and when I realize I did all this coloring again. Now take a new layer again, drag it below to the green layer and select another shade but it uh, should be a darker shade like brown or black you want to uh, add here you can see. Also again select drawing assist. So here we are done with flat coloring and now move on to the detailing part. And for that I am using dark tone of yellow here. Take a new layer on pink layer, clip it and on drawing assist and with dry ink brush with a smaller size, I am adding some curvy lines here. Take one more layer on the top of pink layer, clip it and on drawing assist and on this layer I will add some detailings here. I want to make this part a more vibrant, more colorful so I will use multi colors here and brush I am using here is chain stitch brush. It's realistic kind of embroidery brush which I created myself and if you want to learn how I make this uh, chain stitch brush drop a comment below to let me know and in the next video I will share its tutorial. Now repeat the same process over two other parts of umbrella. Now we have done with detailing so now move on to the shading part. Take a new layer on top of detailing layer, clip it and change the blend mode of the layer to multiply and from airbrushing panel choose soft airbrush. I am using darkest tone of purple here to apply shadows and repeat the same process to each part of umbrella to apply shadows. And to blend some of these hard lines here I am 
using a smudge tool and with hard brush I am smudging some of areas to blend it nicely. If you feel shadows are more opaque so you can simply lower the opacity of the shadow layer to blend it more nicely. Now it's time to add highlights over each part of the umbrella here. So for that take a new layer, clip it and uh, change the blend mode of the layer to add. Also don't forget to on drawing assist so whatever you work on one side can be done on second side easily. Brush I am using for highlights is um, HP pencil from a sketching panel and color you can choose between yellow and orange whatever fits best for your artwork. Now we are done with shading and highlights and you can see here the close up of this umbrella how beautiful this thread effect is looking here. So now move on to the last part which is to add the tassels to the edge of umbrella. So for that I am using that this orange color and drawing brush with a smaller size. So finally we are done with the drawing of this beautiful umbrella here. Do try it and leave your feedback in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching my videos and don't forget to subscribe my channel. Also you can tell me in comments what tutorials you want to watch on my channel because your feedback means a lot to me.